in times like these that we're living in today, we need comfort and we need peace that only Jesus Christ can bring us. Thank you for viewing this video today. I believe that you're going to be just touched in your heart and in your life by the words that the Lord is going to speak to us today. You know, in John chapter 14, verse 1, he said, Let your hearts, uh, do not let your hearts be troubled. Uh, you trust in God, trust also in me. And we can trust in this word that it will bring us comfort and it will bring us peace in situations that the world tries to bring us. Uh, many times the situations around us seem hopeless. And we, we think, well, what is the answer? Well, the answer is the Word of God. And the answer will bring us comfort and hope and, and bring us peace in the midst of any storm that we might be going through. You know, it says in John chapter 15 that we are to stay connected to the vine, which is the Father. We stay connected to the Father through the Word, through the Son, and through the Holy Spirit. Uh, we, we stay connected uh, to His love. We stay connected to His wisdom. We stay connected uh, to the life that He brings us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We, we must not forget in, in these times that we're living in, that we are not to look to the world, we're not to look to our family, we're not to look for to our friends uh, to bring us that ever uh, that peace that is is that passes all understanding. But we are to bring everything to the Lord, and when we bring everything to the Lord, then He shows us what to do and how to how to handle any situation in our lives. In John 15, he says that he is the vine and we are the branches. We draw from him. We draw uh, from the Father. We draw from this word, the Son of God. Jesus is the word. Jesus has always been the word. That's what it says in John chapter 1. The word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah. And so we're to abide there. We're to live there. We're to dwell there. Uh, in, in our day-to-day -day activities, our, our routines, um, our life is in that vine, drawing from our Father, drawing from the El Shaddai, the breasty one. As we draw from Him, then He'll just pour out upon us, and His favor will be there, and His glory will be there. Hallelujah. You know, and it says in uh, John chapter 14, uh, verse 27, Jesus says to his disciples, to his followers, and that's you and me today, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you the peace uh, that you find in the world, that the world gives. You know, the world can, can one, one moment uh, be for you and the next moment be against you. But, praise the name of Jesus, the Lord is always with us. And it says, if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. You know, as, as we end up this year, uh, the Lord gave me at the first of the year, do not fear, God is near. And I've had to rely on that. Almost every single day, because that fear tries to come and invade our space and our territory and our our peace. And but he says, "Do not fear, for I am near." And and we can rely on that, and we can rely on his peace uh, to be there. And he's not going to take it away. It's going to be there for us. And so I just want to encourage you today that it's not hopeless. Your situation is not hopeless. If you have a physical condition, it is not hopeless. Jesus is the healer. By his stripes you are healed. Hallelujah. 
Uh, there's one person that's uh, viewing this video that you just got uh, a bad report uh, concerning a knot in your body and that uh, they feel like it's cancerous. And the Lord says, I am burning that up. I am disintegrating it. Uh, the, the knot is no longer there in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it and be healed in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. If you're... If your situation is a is a emotional or mental uh, situation, Jesus says, "I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind." You have a sound mind in Jesus' name. You need to be confessing that over yourself. If your situation is financial, uh, in Philippians four um, nineteen, He says, "I am the God that supplies all of your needs according to my riches in glory." According to his riches, hallelujah, he has all the gold and all the silver. And so your financial situation is, is, is just a, is, is nothing compared to the greatness of our God. Believe him and those finances, I release those finances to you in Jesus' precious name. Uh, lower backs are being healed right now. Kidneys are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. And I speak to digestive systems. Uh, I speak to those systems to be healed and operating and functioning uh, the way God intended for them to do. That your food will be digested and flow through your body in Jesus' name. I thank you so much. God bless you uh, for viewing this video. May the peace of God rule and reign in your hearts. Don't let your heart be troubled today.